Yo, Cecil West back in the house with my right hand man. John Lippy. And you guys know what it is. It's the question of the day. I hope you guys checked out yesterday. If not, make sure you guys check out yesterday's question of the day. But today, I, I, I just keep hitting them with the smoking guns. Today, I want to know, what's your favorite Solo Bone album? Man. Well, if I had to, I, I the obvious answer is Thug Mentality 99 because, I mean, d a double CD of Crazy Bone in his absolute prime. So Thug Mentality 99, but there was a part of me that wanted Gemini to be my favorite album, but it, it's a great album, but it just didn't hit the same way Thug Mentality 99. And I also wanted Heaven's Movie to be a bigger a bigger album it's a great album but like those snippets and then a couple of those issues and it's a little short so thug mentality 99 satisfied me thoroughly i mean i was i was good to go for a while after that one came out and then they just kept dropping more and more so but mine is crazy bone thug mentality 99 hands down double album um it's it's wild because <laughs> that's got to be my favorite as well. And, and we're looking at the same reasons. I, I will say that I really love the Gemini album. And, and I know that it's not the, the album you want it to be. But, like, I fucking, I love the Gemini album. There's something about Crazy's cadences in that one that, you know, I really enjoy. Um, I really like, like, the fucking uh, Crazy. It, it reminds me of, like, Little Wayne, Man, I Miss My Dogs, except it's Crazy Bone. And uh, Tim talking to all the Bone members. I think it's called I Remember. I, I love the Gemini album. But it, it isn't better than Thug Mentality 99. It isn't better than Thug on the Line. I think Thug on the Line is great too. Um, but Thug Mentality takes it. And none, none of the other ones like, bro, Heaven's Movie is great, but it's it isn't complete. The gift is fucking, you know, the gift is great, um, but but nobody's fucking with Crazy Bone. Thug Mentality 99, it, it has to be mine as well. Uh, it's just, it's too complete, man. Like, Crazy Bone even fucked it up for himself. He set the bar too high yeah. for himself. Uh, it, it, that's exactly what I was going to say, too, was I, 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 he, I got so much from Thug Mentality 99 that I expected a double album every single time, and... And like when I got Gemini, I'm like, man, it's just one album. Because cause Thug on the Line was a pretty long album. And I just felt like Gemini was shorter than what I was used to. I was just used to getting just treated to death with, with Thug, Thug Mentality 99 and Thug on the Line. And then Gemini was great. I just wished it was like a double album. But I agree. Yeah, and The Gift was a great album as well. And But TM99 takes the cake plus. You got... Romeo Antonio producing on that, and you had uh, Steve Lobel driving all those uh, guest appearances. So it had so much going for it. It's, it's probably the, the peak. Yeah, and looking, I, I guess I've never really realized, but Gemini is a pretty short album. It's less than an hour. It's only 51 minutes, whereas Thug on the Line um, is one hour and 17 minutes. Yeah. So it was a lot for one disc. That motherfucker was packed. That That's a great record, too. But Thug Mentality, 99. I'm glad to see we can agree on that one. That's what me and Johnny picked for our favorite solo Bone Thugs album. Don't forget to let us know what your favorite Bone Thugs solo album is in the comments below. And do not forget, share this with another Bone fan and subscribe to Beyond the Harmony, beyondtheharmony.com. And we'll check you guys out tomorrow. Beyond the harmony for the fans we celebrate.